All right, let's talk about adjusting for the thickness of the laser when you're using a laser cutter. So I'm going to draw a rectangle, and mine is shaded in, and you'll notice that it also has a stroke or a border. And let's say I'm going to cut this rectangle out. Let's zoom in a little bit, and you'll notice that when I select it, the dashed line actually goes along the center line of that border. But assuming we've set this border to the thickness of our, our laser, the laser is going to fall along the middle line, and that means it's effectively going to cut both the outer line and the inner line. So both sides of this will be cut away. And if this rectangle is a piece inside of our piece, so like a slot, then it's going to end up being a little bit too large because it effectively cut that outer border. But if this is a piece on the outside of our, our piece, so something like a tab, then it's actually going to end up effectively cutting this inside line and which means that our tab is going to end up too small. So if we don't adjust for this with the laser, what we'll end up with is tabs that are too small and slots that are too big. So we'll end up with loose fits. So the way to fix this is I'm going to make this first a good deal smaller so it's a little bit easier to see just using these little handles. So I'm going to open up the fill and stroke menu under object and select the item. It doesn't really matter whether or not we have a fill, but we are going to want a stroke, and we're going to want to set our stroke style to whatever the thickness of our laser is, which you'll need to test. Best way to test this is to cut out a, a rectangle that's supposed to be a specific size and measure it with calipers to see how much smaller it is. Uh, however much it's smaller is the kerf of your laser, or the thickness of your laser. So I'm using a Glowforge, which has a curve of about six thousandths of an inch, and you'll notice that it made that line a little bit thicker. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on object, or sorry, path, and use stroke to path. Now what this does is it turns each side of that line into a line. So there's no longer a center line like we had before. We've got two possible lines, which means the laser is going to cut both of them if we try to uh, run this as is. But that's not really what we want. What we want is one or the other, depending on whether this is inside of our shape or outside of our shape. So I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to select Break Apart under Path. And we'll end up with kind of a, a big filled-in mess. So I usually lower the opacity, which is what this bottom bar is. And if you zoom in, you can tell that one is a little bit darker than the other. So if this is on the inside of your shape, then you're going to want the one that's on the inside. Because remember, the inside cuts are too big, and so we're effectively making it a little bit smaller, offsetting it. And if it's on the outside of our shape, then we want this outside border because it's making the outside pieces too small. So you just select the one you don't want and click Delete, and now you're good to go. All right, if you have any questions that you'd like to see answered in a future video, uh, please comment below. Uh, and other than that, I'll see you next time.